treasure chest, ahoy! <laughs> What's left of it anyway? The falling rock smashed the top right off the chest. Good thing they didn't smash me old ship's log. I wrote down some of me early adventures in this book. But this, this is the real treasure. Shiver me whiskers. Are those me whiskers? Hi, ha <laughs> ha. From when you were just a wee little kitten. Looks like we saved this precious treasure just in the nick of time. My kitten whiskers are treasure? Treasure doesn't always have to be gold or jewels, Quasi. It just has to be something important to you. And treasures like these need to be buried somewhere safer than these tiny islands. It'll still need to be in the sand, though. Tis the pirate way. Looks to me like there'll be lots of beaches over here in North Africa. Here we are, Grandad. This'll be the perfect spot for your treasure. Mm, don't think so, Quasi. That tide could take this beach underwater too. Best be looking further away from these waves. How about here, Grandad? Mm, further. Here? Further. Here? This is it. The perfect spot to bury me treasure. Funny place for a beach, though. This is no beach, Grandad. This is a desert. A really big desert. Ugh. And after all that walking, I don't have the energy to bury treasure. <sighs> Agree, Quasi. Let's rest. We'll bury the treasure. In the morning. Hmm? Sounds like a tasty treat. Good news! Nico made it to the shore! <gasps> Bad news! There's a hungry jaguar on that shore! Hang on, Grandad! We need to save that shaggy sea! I mean, baby sloth! like a fish. Uh-oh. I think you may have made a mistake. We're not tasty morsels. We're octonauts. You look plenty tasty to me. sail when they got no sail to set. You saved Nico, so we thought we'd help save you. Thanks, Sloths, for lending a hand. Or even three toes. Hey, where'd everybody go? These aren't bad after all. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now that was swashbuckling, mateys. You vegetables are a proper hearty pirate crew. <laughs> Nico! Uh, maybe we should have just handed the baby to his mum. Oh, let them have their moment, Quasi. <gasps> Where'd that roar come from? 
I'm not sure I want to find out. Well, I'm not going to be tired of food. Come on, up this tree! Jumping jellyfish! That's a named a Chinese tiger, an endangered species. It's very rare to see one these days. <laughs> left in Vietnam. Hello, we're the Octonauts. We're here to help. So please don't eat us. Eat you? Oh, no, I already ate this morning. I'm lost. I was following you to find the way out of this cave. There you go. Good as new. Oh, thank you. Uh, do you think I can trouble you for a lift out of here? Of course. Let's get you back to your natural habitat. stripes all over. This baby's stripes don't really go all over. So, you're saying this baby could be a jungle ghost? Huh? <laughs> I'm saying I don't think this baby is a zebra. I'm not a zebra. Don't worry. We'll find your mom. In the meantime, you must be hungry. Here, have a kelp cake. Hang on. Your tongue doesn't look like a zebra's tongue at all. Your tongue looks a lot like a giraffe's tongue. Are you a giraffe? I'm a giraffe. <laughs> Tweak, Quasi, are there any giraffes near you? Hang tight. I've got this one. Ahoy! We're helping a lost baby giraffe find his mother. Does this little nipper belong to one of you? That's no giraffe. Even though his tongue is long like ours. <laughs> I'm not the giraffe? Hmm, strange. One of my critter recorders is picking up infrasonic noises, but they're not coming from our little guy. That sounds like Mum. I don't hear anything. I'll turn up the volume. Ah, too loud! Oh, sorry. Your ears must be very sensitive to be able to hear things that we can't. Are you sure that was your mom? Oh, yes, that's my mom. I want to see my mom. Well, I suppose we can make an exception to the stay put rule. Tweak, that infrasonic noise could be the baby's mom. It's not far from us, so we'll meet you there. Here's the critter recorder that picked up the sound. And that must be the critter that's making the infrasonic noises. Ahoy! What sort of animal are you? We know you're not a zebra. Or a giraffe. That's because I'm an okapi. Well, Mum, we found your baby. Mama! Ronald, what are you doing? You can't be here. You have to stay in your nest for protection. You see, we okapis have special feet that let out a smell and create a stinky trail wherever we go. Ooh. I smell what you mean. Even though baby okapis don't smell quite as strong as their mamas, it's best for them to stay put so they don't make a scent trail. Mama! That is interesting. But why is having a scent a problem? Because our scent can attract... <gasps> leopards! I thought I smelled one okapi, but it looks like I found two okapis for lunch. <laughs> Lucky me. Run, Ronald, run! Ow! There won't be any Akapi on the menu today, matey. I 
found the Gup R, but no one's aboard. How's Pete doing? Better. But he still can't tell us how to find Quasi and Calico Jack. Ah, Quasi and Calico Jack. Ah, the Octo Watch might give us a clue. What is that? Looks like an Egyptian vulture. It must have accidentally triggered the Octo Watch to record. Ah, that's a bottle tree. There's only one place in the world where bottle trees can be found, Socotra. It's an island in the Indian Ocean off the coast of Africa. It's so isolated that one third of the unusual plants and animals on Socotra can't be found anywhere else in the world. It's a mysterious island. Ah, uh, mystery island? Dashi, set course for Mystery Island. Setting a course for Socotra now. Looks like we found the source of those flashes. Something was reflected off these shiny shells. Oh, that makes sense. <gasps> but that doesn't. An alien spaceship. Run! It's all right, Quasi. It's the crew coming to rescue us. But, but they can't see us. Not yet, but they will. Quick, lift your boots, Quasi. Uh, uh, why are you pouring that red tree sap on me boots, Grandad? Like I said, you never know when something will come in handy. Dashi, any sign of Quasi and Calico Jack? Socotra's a big island, Captain. And we have no way of knowing where on the island they are. Ooh, what's that flash back there? Let's check it out. I hope this works. Look! Captain, I think we found them. Ah! Try and get help! Good work, Pete! <laughs> Every pirate knows, Quasi. X marks the spot. You found us, mateys. Guess we weren't on another planet after all. Socotra may look alien, Quasi, but it's most definitely on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>